Is everyone ready? Okay. Thank you for coming out today. To my right is Deputy State's Attorney Pamela Wells, and to my left, as all of you know, is Chief O'Shea with the Rockford Police Department, and we are here today to give you an update on several criminal investigations. I am announcing today that we have charged Preston Scott, date of birth, February 13, 1995 with seven counts of first-degree murder and one count of unlawful use of a weapon by a felon. This incident stemmed from August 2nd, 2020 at 1026 a.m. in the area of Oregon Avenue in Rockford, Illinois. At that time, David Foley was found outside of his vehicle and he had suffered several gunshot wounds. An autopsy was conducted and he died as a result of those injuries. The case was investigated by the Rockford Police Department, which has resulted in the charges being filed against Mr. Scott. Mr. Scott is currently in custody on unrelated charges. He had a warrant issued with respect to these charges with a no bond, and that will be served on him at the Winnebago County Jail. In addition, the Rockford Narcotics Division of the Rockford Police Department started a narcotics investigation in September of 2019. The basis of this investigation was to remove illegal firearms from our community as well as to identify those individuals who were peddling narcotics in our community. As a result, uh, we have charged several individuals uh, with respect to that investigation. The first being John Shanklin, date of birth, January 3rd, 1988, who is currently in custody. He is charged with three counts of unlawful use of a weapon by a felon. These charges are merely allegations and the defendant is presumed innocent until or unless proven guilty in a court of law. We have also charged Ellsworth Dismuke, date of birth, July 6, 1991. He currently has an outstanding warrant with a bond of $500,000. He faces one count of unlawful use of a weapon by a felon and one count of aggravated fleeing to elite police officers. We have charged Travell Smith, date of birth, June 1, 1991. He currently is charged with armed habitual criminal and one count of felony unlawful use of a weapon by a felon. He is currently wanted on a bond of $500,000. Tyrone Cooper, date of birth, May 1st, 1993. He's charged with two counts of unlawful use of a weapon by a felon. In addition, he has a warrant that is currently outstanding with a million dollar bond. Robert Montgomery, date of birth, June 27, 1980. He is currently charged with one count of unlawful use of weapon by a felon, and he is also wanted on a warrant with a bond of $500,000. Dennis Lyles, date of birth, December 1, 1988. Mr. Lyles is charged with one count of unlawful use of a weapon by a felon, he is currently wanted on a bond with the bond set at $750,000. Next we have Kevin Booth, date of birth, June 1st, 1991. He is wanted on a warrant with a $300,000 bond and he is currently charged with one count of delivery of a controlled substance. What you see displayed on the screen are numerous firearms that were recovered during this investigation. Uh, specifically, we recovered uh, Intratech cap, 10 9 millimeter firearm. Uh, in addition, a 357 revolver. Um, 
you can see here additional firearms that were recovered during this investigation. And we are displaying these for you so that you can see uh, the number of illegal firearms that pervade our community. And so it is incumbent, and I want to commend the Rockford Police Department for initiating uh, this investigation, uh, later being assisted by the FBI. Uh, we will continue our collaborative efforts to eradicate the possession of illegal firearms in our community. As we know, gun violence is a serious problem in our community and we will use all of our resources and our efforts uh, to make sure that those who possess illegal firearms in our community are held accountable and where evidence exists, charges will be filed. Uh, we have also today filed murder charges in a four-month investigation regarding the death of Mr. Foley. And I want to ensure the community that despite the difficult times and pressures that members of law enforcement are working under, they continue with their goal and their initiative, which is to provide public safety for our community. And I want to thank them for their hard work on this particular investigation, but I want to assure the community that they continue to work on all of those open murder cases uh, in their jurisdiction. They're constantly uh, following up on leads and investigating and bringing matters to my office for review. So I want to give encouragement and hope to those families who have lost loved ones to gun violence to let you know uh, that law enforcement, in this case the Rockford Police Department, is always working on their cases, uh, putting their best efforts forward so that we can bring a resolution and a, some type of closure for those families who have lost loved ones to gun violence. As always, all of the defendants charged today are presumed innocent until or unless uh, proven guilty in a court of law. At this time, I would ask Chief O'Shea uh, to come forward uh, to make some remarks, and I would also ask the community could, to continue to assist us in keeping you safe. Good morning. Thanks, um, State's Attorney Heidi Ross, for her work, her office work. Um, most importantly, community for helping us out, stepping up giving us information uh, and working with the detectives in these cases that go on and on for months and months. Uh, and obviously the biggest kudos go to the men and women of the police department, not just us, but the FBI, DEA, county, state, everybody that works with us. Huge, a um, lot of time and effort goes into these cases uh, and they don't stop working on them. Uh, and the guns, as you saw, they're from rifles to handguns. Uh, our gun violence in Rockford, uh, well, it went down for three years. We were doing well and this year has just gone the other way. We've had way too many shootings uh, since March of this year, uh, too many homicides this year, uh, and we need people to step up, continue to step up, and give us more information on who the shooters are, who's selling the guns and the drugs, and we'll keep going after them with everything we've got.